find a coach that helps to align with your goals. And if one-on-one coaching feels like a hefty out-of-pocket investment for you, explore group coaching and online resources. Trust me, the ROI on investing in coaching is monumental. Hey Thriver, today I've got a topic that is so close to my heart. It is something that I truly believe in to my core because I see it as something that can help to reshape the landscape of our workplaces, help to redefine our own individual approach to our careers, and even help us to redefine who we are as a leader. And that is creating a culture of coaching. I remember the first time that I encountered coaching in my career, I was working as a marketer at Pfizer and just in sidebar, like hallway conversations, a colleague mentioned having a session coming up with her executive coach. And I'm like, tell me more. And she says, oh yeah, it's the coach for the marketing team. And I'm like, wait, we have access to executive coaching? <laughs> And the rest is history. It was a transformative experience to say the least. And so I want to share with you some of my own personal experience with career and leadership coaching, but then what we've learned at Career Thrivers with our coaching services in providing coaching for corporations to help with engagement, retention of talent, et cetera. So first let's dive in and level set on what is coaching. One of the things that I have observed is that for the vast majority of emerging leaders, so think anywhere from individual contributor, manager, senior manager, director, senior director in that middle of the organization, most people have not experienced career or leadership coaching. So in the business context, think of coaching as a partnership. It's a process, a defined process that's designed to unlock someone's potential. So it's not mentoring. I'll say that again. Coaching is not mentorship, right? It's not, it's also not training, but it is a process that helps to guide someone towards self-discovery and improvement. So think of it as showing the path rather than leading the way, right? That's how coaching shows up. And this is important to understand because usually coaching gets a bad rap or it's on one or two ends of the spectrum. So it either has a bad rap because we think about coaching in the context of being on a performance improvement plan, the talent needs to be coached up so they need a coach, right? So that's how coaching gets a negative connotation or coaching has an exclusive context and understanding because it's only reserved for executive level leaders, right? Similar to my experience. So this season of the Career Thrivers show was recorded inside of A.B. Hillsboro Village. In the rhythm of Nashville, A.B. dances to a tune of inclusion and community. Curated by Nashville's own Marcy and Derek, this premier live music and event venue harmonizes local flair with a very welcoming spirit. It's more than a space. It's where Nashville's diverse heartbeat is celebrated, making every event an inclusive masterpiece. Learn more about A.B. at anzieblue.com. Why is coaching even important? Why should you perhaps as a leader care about coaching? What can it do for you? So a couple of things to consider. One, coaching provides a very tailored and individual growth plan or path. So one of the things that I really love about coaching is that it gives you that kind of focused opportunity to get guidance, right? And to think more broadly and more deeply about those next steps. And believe it or not, what we've seen at Career Thrivers is that coaching significantly improves performance, right? So the numbers don't lie. When we see engagement skyrocket in terms of those employ- employment engagement numbers, employee engagement numbers in surveys, right? Oftentimes it speaks to the fact that when you invest in someone, right? then they in turn invest back into the organization. And lastly, coaching is really our secret weapon to identifying and nurturing the leaders of tomorrow. So if you are a leader of leaders or a leader of an organization, coaching is really a great advantage to leverage emerging talent, right? So if you think about situational leadership for a second, have you ever heard of it? Have you ever heard of situational leadership? It's this art of adjusting your leadership style based on 
who you're leading. And really it's, it's at the core of what leading people is really about. And so there are great resources around situational leadership from Ken Blanchard. If you're not familiar with it, it's a coaching model that we used when I was a people leader at, at, um, before Career Thrivers at Pfizer and one that we use in career, at Career Thrivers today. So there are four core styles. There's delegating, there's coaching, supporting, and then directing, right? And so the magic in situational leadership is knowing when to use which, right? And trust me, once you master situational leadership, you'll notice a seismic shift in how you effectively guide your team. To this day, I believe situational leadership is one of the top frameworks that really helps to guide people leaders out of their own ego because oftentimes we think leading people is about what's my leadership style what's my leadership approach anything with my isn't leadership right leadership is about unlocking the best in other people so how do you weave coaching into your company right the first thing I would tell you is to start small right maybe have a pilot program could be a great beginning and, and remember you know coaches can be internal and external, right? They each have advantages. Consistent feedback, though, is going to be at the top of the list here. So don't shy away from leveraging tech tools that can really make the coaching journey smoother. And I would say that's one of the biggest misses in some of the coaching programs that we see before we come in. There aren't metrics that are backing the coaching to help to inform what's actually happening within the coaching engagements. So really having the system by which you can really leverage the power in terms of a, a mass approach to coaching is a high level recommendation uh, for us when we think about coaching. Hey Thriver, I'm excited for you to get your hands on your copy of The Blueprint to More Visibility and Influence. This is a powerful free resource that's designed to catapult your influence and amplify your impact in your business or company. Now, this isn't just another online guide. This is your strategic companion that's gonna walk you through the world of personal branding and authentic leadership. Inside, you'll unlock essential strategies that are gonna help you do a few things. One, sharpen your self-awareness and own your unique story, navigate the complexities of workplace dynamics with more confidence, elevate your presence in any room and ensure that you are not only seen, but also heard and valued. Why wait for opportunities when you can create them? With this blueprint, you'll learn how to cultivate a personal brand that commands respect and opens the door for new opportunities. And the best part, you'll start seeing the world differently, not just as a place where you fit in, but one where you stand out. You'll transform your self-doubt into more self-assurance and turn your aspirations into to tangible achievements. So join me in our community of thrivers who are making their mark. Don't let this moment pass you by. Head on over to letsthrivetogether.com to download your free copy of the blueprint to more visibility and influence today. Start your journey and let's thrive together. Now for my go-getters that are out there, right? Who maybe you don't have coaching at your workplace, but you're like, you're listening into this episode and you're like, Brittany, you know, I want to invest in myself. I see you and I've got you, right? So take that initiative, right? Find a coach that helps to align with your goals. And if one-on-one -on -one coaching feels like a hefty out-of-pocket investment for you, explore group coaching and online resources. Trust me, the ROI on investing in coaching is monumental. And I often share, I actually started Career Thrivers with a quarterly mastermind, a group coaching program for women. And one of the things that I would often find when I was running that program is that women would often come in and say, oh, I need one-on-one -on -one coaching. You know, I want to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. And then they would get inside the program and quickly re recognize the power in vicarious learning, right? The power in sitting in a session and maybe me having a laser focused coaching session with one person in there, but them listening in, being able to extrapolate so many different lessons, right? So whether you're a leader or an individual contributor, I can't stress enough the game changing power of a strong coaching culture, right? It's not just transformative to the individual person, right? To you as a leader, but in today's world, right? It's no longer a nice to have, but it's a necessary tool in your learning and development, in your professional development, in your career pathway toolkit to develop, retain, and advance talent. So 
If this episode resonated with you, I encourage you to deep dive into the world of coaching, right? Share this episode with your leader, share it with your team and discuss it with your peers, right? Let's really work together to champion a culture of coaching. And I would also share with you to make sure that you check out our resources over at careerthrivers.com forward slash podcast. We have an incredible course with a coach, right? It's one of the ways that we provide access to coaching through our resources, even beyond maybe your organization having a coaching program. It also helps to serve those of you who might be thinking about leveraging your expertise and your skill set and your experiences at your organization to monetize those outside of your organization. So if you're looking for a tool to really help you hone in on who you are as a leader, helping you to define your voice, helping you to own your personal brand and helping you to build a strategy around that that takes you from where you are to where you want to be, check out our resources over at careerthrivers.com forward slash podcast. And until next time, let's thrive together. 